<laughs> we thought that after um, doing this for a couple of years, we should probably do a little series on getting to know us. You've seen things that we've done, places we've been, troubles we've had, etc., etc. But you don't know a whole lot of personal stuff about us. So we've kind of made a little list of um, things that we'll talk about with you, to you, with you, at you. For you. For you. And <laughs> we're going to start with, because this is the biggest question that we get asked mostly, is whose idea was it to do this? This. Living full time in an RV and traveling. Wasn't mine. <laughs> Not that I don't love it. I love it. <laughs> it was my idea. So we're going to tell you about that. So one day when I was going to the post office, I saw this place that sold RVs, um, used RVs. So it was a little lot, sold them. And I had kind of been milling around in my head for a couple of months about living full time, trying to get away from the stresses of normal everyday life and doing something different, traveling, living full time in an RV. Not that I stress her out every day, but I pretty much did. Did, yeah. <laughs> so I go across the street from the post office to this little RV lot and I start looking at some of them. My first thought was, because years and years I've always thought about doing this and thinking, oh, it would be great to live in a motor home and, you know, have your house right there with you. And, and uh, so I went and looked at a couple of those. And the first one was really nice. A lot a lot of money way more than we would ever be able to afford and the first thing I thought of was hmm Tom's gonna think this is a tour bus he's gonna say mm, no so then the next one I went into was a little bit smaller and he would think mm, now this is a camper mm, I don't want to go camping he's not a camper <laughs> so the next one I go to is this big fifth wheel and I go inside and I was my jaw hit the floor. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It doesn't look like a camper. It had an island kitchen and everything. And I was like, wow, this is really neat. So I kept researching it. I kept going back and visiting it. And I wanted to have all my ducks in a row before I presented it to him. Because he would... Watch it. He's a doubting Thomas. <laughs> So he would have said, no, we can't afford it. No, I can't do that. No, we got to work for the rest of our lives. No, 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 can't do it. So I wanted to have all of the rebuttals to all of his naysaying. So what do you think? I, I like the word binder. no. Yes, you could ask a lot of people that know us. <laughs> anyway, so one morning, one Saturday morning, um, we're doing our normal get up, eat, our breakfast, have our coffee, play on the computer type of thing. Well, I cut my routine short and started getting ready to go somewhere. And he's like, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, we're gonna go somewhere. I said, I'm gonna take you for a little drive and I don't want you to be negative. <laughs> I don't want you to be negative. Me, being negative? So we get in the car and we go up the street to the little RV lot across from the post office and... That's really a U-Haul dealer. And a <laughs> rental car place. <laughs> we pull up and I'm like, why are we at a U-Haul dealer? And she goes, ah, don't be negative. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. So we get out, we walk to the lot. She takes me inside this tour bus, you know, big class A, and she looks around and I kind of look around and she goes, what do you think? And I go, it's a tour bus, only I didn't say it that nicely. And so Not we- Not that tour buses aren't nice. Oh yeah. Because they really are, but- I don't think I could live in one. There you go. So then she takes us out and we go into a smaller class A and she goes, what do you think of this? And I go, it's a tour bus. You know, it's like... It's still a hallway. It's a hallway, you know, I just... It's a tour bus. She goes, okay, follow me. So she goes walking across this lot, the U-Haul dealer lot. Two people on the lot go, hey, Lori, how you doing? And I'm not putting two and two together, like, how do they know her? 
So then she takes me over to this fifth wheel, and she points it out, and she says, what do you think of this? And I go, it's a trailer. She walks inside, and I took a step up and put one step inside of it and kind of looked around, and I'm looking, and I backed down, and I look at the outside, and I came back in. I go, how the hell did they do that? This thing was huge inside. So, so once he, you know, took a look around and actually liked the way it looked, it didn't look like a camper, it didn't look like a tour bus. Nothing against campering people and nothing against tour. artists who are on their tour buses. <laughs> yeah, because there's some really, really nice ones we've That's been true. on. That's so. true. That's true. But anyway, so... We're sitting there and we're, you know, look, looking around and I asked him, I said, so, I said, do you think you could live in this and something like this and travel around? And he's like, I could probably do it, but you never could. And I went, what do you mean? He said, you'd have to get rid of all your crap. And I know you're never going to get rid of all your crap. I went, okay, okay. So that was on a Saturday. So all day Sunday, he spent researching about fifth wheels and RVing and living full -time, full time living in them. Never and heard of it until then, you know? And so I start reading about it and it's like, what is this? Why do people live in these things? So I yeah. researched so the we heck did research out of it. and we researched and by the end of Sunday, he was like, sounds like a good idea. I'm sold. However, you're gonna have to go get a job. <laughs> Okay, so that was a uh, Saturday, Sunday before a Martin Luther King Monday. Monday morning, he goes off to work, and I get ready, and I head out looking for a job. So I go to this place. Um, it was a real estate office that was next to, like, a restaurant. And so I go in the, this real estate office, and I ask them, you know, if they're looking for any help. I'm looking for a job. And they were like, oh, my gosh, we were just thinking we, you know, needed somebody here, heaven sent, blah, blah, blah. And so we got to talk in and I got hired. So I go home. She calls me at work and says, I got a job. And I went, really? Doing what? And she tells me what it is. And I go, when do you start? And she goes, in an hour. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, we're going to buy a fifth wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I got the job started, job, and I had already made a list of all, you know, how we would downsize and get rid of things, and, um... In fact, we've got a couple videos on that. I'm going to link them up here in the corner. It'll either be up here or up here. So, we, um, or right away, the, description below. the first thing we did was we <laughs> called our um, youngest daughter and had her and her boyfriend come up and say, handed her a sticky note and said, go shopping. Put go your through. name on anything you want in the house except my big TV and that bed. They still put their tags on those <laughs> just in case. Cause we said, put it on anything and everything that you want. You may or may not get it. We may have to sell it to you, you know, or, or whatever. We'll have to see. So they, you know, went through the house they kind of felt a little weird because it was like, you know, we're going to ask you for all this stuff. And it was like, put it on there. Put your name on stuff. Put your name on Take stuff. Take what you want. Yep. So they did that. And that was a good stepping stone for getting, starting to get rid of things. And then we started scheduling out um, garage sales. So every month we would have a garage sale and we would give people save the date cards to... Um, remind them that next month we're going to do another one and there's going to be more stuff as we went through the house and started purging everything. She says stuff. We've got more junk to get rid of. <laughs> Negative Nelly. Hey you. now, look where we are. Exactly. <laughs> look where we are. So it took two years for us to downsize. We made it a very gradual shift and uh, you know, after two years here we are, and now we've been traveling for two years, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So it's been a four-year ordeal since we not originally... Not ordeal. <laughs> it's been a four-year process there, okay. since we started. To get to this point to get of us to making where we a are video for Finally you saying, here's how we got started. Here's how we got started. So there it is in a nutshell, and we are loving it. 
and we're meeting so many people. We're having a blast. That are on the same way, same wavelength as us of living full time in our RV and traveling around. It's so stress free, and I've started a little business on the side. Lori's doing bookkeeping stuff for her sister, and that's getting us through day by day life and no stress. Woof. Well, no there stress. are stressful times. It's just not on an every single day no. basis. I mean, it is not all sunshine and whipped cream, but... Uh, Although that is kind of nice when it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we get to go anywhere we want in the country, and we're still working, we're still connected, and just having a blast and loving life. But, again... Thanks to this one. That was my idea. 100% her idea. I didn't have any inkling I would ever I live researched a couple of months and in kept a fifth notes wheel. and had all of my ducks in a row before I presented it to him. So because I'm a doubting Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. That's how we began our full time life in an RV. How'd you begin yours? Leave us a uh, comment below. Let us know how you began yours. Are you aspiring to become full-timers? Let us know about that too. And if you got any questions, ask them in the comments below and we'll try to answer those on the next time we do a video. And make sure yep. you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See ya! So we're doing just the, uh, is it crooked? Hi! Hi. <laughs> okay, you start.